back to my channel, it's Caitlin here and today I'm doing another testing products video. Today I'm going to be testing eBay fakes which I bought on eBay and I'm going to be comparing them to the real ones. So I have done one of these videos in the past and you guys really enjoyed it. So today I'm going to be testing out three more products which I picked up from eBay and comparing them to the real ones. So on my face right now I have half real and half fake. If you guys can tell the difference, then let me know and tell me what side you think is which. But I feel like they do look quite similar right now, which is... I don't know if that's a good thing. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do like these types of videos, testing videos, then feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys are new to my channel, then feel free to subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Friday. And without further ado, I will just get on and do some comparisons for you. So let's go. Okay, so I've already done my foundation and my eyebrows and stuff because I'm not going to be doing a comparison for those products. So I've done everything up until the point of highlight. So the product which I'm going to be comparing for highlights is the Anastasia Glow Kit and this one which I own is the That Glow one. So it is the like warmer one but not the darkest one. This is what the real one looks like. You guys have probably seen it 101 times. And it's got the four shades in here. And then this one here is the fake one. In terms of how they look and how they feel without using the product, the real one is so much more heavier and feels a lot more bulkier than the fake. Um, the fake feels quite flimsy and not so sturdy and just quite light. One thing which I did notice about the fake is the colour of the packaging is a little bit darker than the real one. The real one has more of an ombre, if you can see that there. In terms of the back, they do look really similar. However, the four shades on the fake are a different colour to the real shades, if that makes sense. So you guys can probably see them there. The fake ones just look a lot darker than the light ones just for the packaging on the back. The pans in the fake product look quite loose. Um, there's definitely like a darker rim around each of the pans here and it kind of looks like they've been placed in a little bit more looser. Um, whereas in the real one they're definitely looking a little bit more secure. Also one thing which I did notice about the fake is that the um, writing on it is not um, bumpy. On this one it's kind of embossed into the packaging. Whereas this one is just printed over the top. And also it looks like it's kind of rubbing off as well. It's definitely just not as high quality as the real one. So I'm just going to go ahead and use both of these on my face. And I will let you guys see the difference between the real one and the fake one. Okay, so I have just done my highlights on each side of my face. Definitely with the real one you get a lot more product coming off on your brush. If you guys can see here, the fake one still has given me a bit of a glow, but I definitely think that the real side is 10 times better, but you can decide for yourself. So the next product which I picked up from eBay to test for you is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I love this palette, honestly, it's like my favourite thing Ever to use on my eyes. I absolutely love it and this is my real one here which does look well loved. It's definitely got a lot of finger marks on it because of the packaging being that fluffy sort of packaging but I do love this so let's test out the fake one. In terms of packaging how they look they definitely are super similar. The one big difference is just the shade of pink that they have on each of them. The real one is a little bit more muted and dull whereas the fake one is a little bit more of a brighter pink which they've used or purple, I don't know, would you say that's pink or purple? The Anastasia logo is very similar as well as the title of the palette. In terms of on the back they do look really similar as well. It's a really really good copy. In terms of what they look like inside, they are super super similar. I will insert swatches over this talking clip so you guys can see the difference. But honestly, I didn't find that much difference in the colours and the pigmentation. The fake one, I did find the shades to be a little bit more dusty, but they still were really pigmented. I just got quite a lot of fallout from them compared to the real one, but honestly the real one gives a lot of fallout too, so I honestly think this is an amazing match. They are really, really similar. Um, one thing which I love about the real one is the shimmery shades are really buttery and I didn't quite get that with the fake one 
but that was the only thing I could really comment on because yeah it was a really good match so I'm just gonna go ahead and do an eye look for you and see how they work on my eyes I'll come back and let you guys know my eyes I'm now gonna quickly just tell you my experience with both of these eyeshadows so even though when I did my swatches of the fake versus the real one I was really impressed but when I started using the fake one the pigmentation was definitely nowhere near like the real one although the colors were definitely exact matches definitely took a lot of time to get that color building up and especially with the dark cypress umber shade that is so so pigmented in the real one and i'm always spending ages blending it out because i always use far too much but with the fake one i just did not have that problem and it was really like just it was just not up to standard of the real one so I don't really know what to say I mean I guess if you do want to buy a really cheap version of this then maybe this is a good idea because they are really really similar colors and it is a very good match but it's just not quite as good so the final product which I'm gonna be trying out for you today is another Anastasia product and this is one of their liquid lipsticks the one which I'm gonna be comparing today is this one here I honestly did not think about the eye look and the lips matching I'm sorry but this one here is the Sarah Fine liquid lipstick and it's just a really lovely like vibrant red color and I really really love it so much so I picked up one on eBay for something like a pound it was crazy how cheap it was and I'm gonna put them both on my lips and see when I swatched these they looked so similar and I'll just show you the packaging on it just looks so crazy similar it's honestly quite scary like I feel like I'm gonna mix these up the only difference which I can see from just looking at them both is the bottoms of them on the real one it's just more matte and more like it looks more professional whereas the sticker on this one just looks a bit kind of shabby but that's honestly the only difference I can see let's do this One thing I do notice is when I pull the applicator out of the tube, not so much product is on the applicator, it just feels a little bit less substantial. Okay, so I've put both of them on each side of my lips and honestly I do not see a difference once it's on my lips. As I kind of mentioned, the applicator on this side, like the fake side, you don't get as much product. So I did kind of do like a second layer, but like it's such a minor, minor thing to complain about. In terms of colour and formula, they are really, really similar. And if you didn't have the real one, you would not know a difference. Like you would not feel like you had a shabby product that you were using. It's such... Whoa. I can't see a difference. Like I'm so blown away. So those were all the products which I had to test out for you today. These ones were so much more similar than the last fakes which I tested. It was crazy. I'm actually kind of scared that I'm going to get them mixed up with my actual real ones. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos, testing videos, eBay videos, let me know in the comments or by liking this video and also subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys! Get down!